Step number two in the system is base coat. Dr. Valenti formulated this unique base coat using flexible rubbery polymers to give your manicure longevity. It allows the manicure to flexibly expand and contract with the natural nail. Let me explain how this works. Our nails are porous, just like our hair, just like our skin. So when we wash our hands, wash dishes, take a shower, etc., our nails absorb water and they expand. When they dry, they contract. And this motion occurs all day long with our nails. And with all this expansion and contraction taking place, this is why traditional polishes crack and chip. This technology is unique to us and is one of the reasons why your manicure will last so long. Do you see how this bottle of base coat is cloudy? Let me break down why this happens. When the temperature drops below 70 degrees, it can cause the base coat to solidify into a jelly-like substance. This is not a defect. The base coat must be clear like water prior to application. I repeat, it must be clear like water. To achieve this, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna close the cap tight and stand it in one inch of hot water until it is completely clear. Do not run the bottle under a faucet or submerge it underwater. If water gets inside your base coat, it will become contaminated and it must be discarded. Sidebar, please do not ever microwave your base coat. Now that it is declouded, this is what it looks like. It's completely clear like water. And we're going to apply it by dipping the brush in the bottle for each nail, swipe one side of your brush on the inner neck of the bottle, allow the excess product to flow back into the bottle. You will notice that it is very thin, almost watery. Don't apply it too heavy so you don't flood the skin with base coat. Coming in contact with skin can cause lifting and chipping, but if you get base coat on the skin, don't worry. Clean it up right away with a detail brush or orange wood stick dipped in pure acetone, and here's what it looks like. Here's what we call a cleanup brush. Uh, you could use an orange wood stick, and also, if you have like an angled eyeliner brush at home, you can use this too. If you have long enough free edge, this is the white part of your nail that extends beyond the tip. Encapsulate each nail by running the tip of the brush along the tip of your nail. If your nails are short like mine, you can skip that encapsulation. And by the way, I'm that weird person that can't stand any free edge on my nails. I always file my nails very short. I know some of you can relate to that. It is so important to allow each layer to dry matte prior to applying the next layer. It doesn't dry to a chalky matte, but rather it no longer looks wet like water. It can get gummy if the second layer is applied while the first one is still wet. This is super important so that you don't end up with a clumpy manicure or contaminate your bottle by transferring semi-wet rubbery polymers back into your bottle. Make sense? All the layers dry very quickly. By the time you complete all 10 nails, the first nail should be dry. Repeat the second layer of base coat. Remember to allow it to dry matte prior to applying the color. I know I'm giving you a lot of information, a lot of instructions, but I promise you it's easy peasy and you've got this. Notice that the second layer of base is not quite as matte as the first layer. Don't let the slight sheen throw you off. Pro tip, don't touch your nails to check to see if it's dry as this can transfer oils from your fingertips and cause premature chipping. 